Hello, my name is Jana and I'm an events manager at The Post in Russia. I also work on marketing activities for Chivni. Last year we ran our first ever digital festival, Different Ever After. We did it in partnership with an online portal dedicated to continuous professional development, theory and practice. We ran an interactive session to promote Chivning, sharing key information about the program and asking Chivning alumni to share their experiences. The festival was the biggest project when we couldn't reach our audience directly due to COVID-19. We wanted to make it big and bold and make sure that we promote our values. So we came up with an idea for the festival where British and Russian speakers would communicate, share their ideas and inspire our audience. First of all, we came up with the festival's visual design to highlight creativity and brightness. Familiar shapes and vivid colors set the mood. With the website where we could direct our audience, we could start active promotion. It all started with an announcement in our social media. Facebook, Instagram, VK, Russian social network and Telegram. Our partners did the same. We also created a series of editorial materials that were being published on the festival's website regularly. An outstanding project was also a Telegram channel, created specifically for the festival, where our followers could get the latest news and updates, received all the materials, handouts and presentations. The channel gathered a big crowd quite quickly. While planning a session about Chivning, we started with a discussion about what stopped people from applying. And among the most popular reasons were an absence of knowing how to fill in the application as many people have never applied for any international programs and lack of confidence. We often hear people saying that the Chivning is word is for a certain group of people and there is no way I will get it so it's not worth applying. Therefore, we wanted to address those issues and tackle the prejudice. The key messages that we wanted to deliver were Chivning is a great opportunity for everybody, anyone can apply regardless of their major career path or age and everything is possible. So we started with a presentation during which Tom, head of public affairs section, told about Chivning, its offer and explained step by step how to apply. Tom also gave some useful tips, so our audience had a clear idea of how to start working on their applications. The presentation was followed by an interview of two Chivning alumni. We were very keen to invite them to make the session more interactive, friendly and relaxed. The questions that we asked were purposely not about the technicalities, but about their emotions during the application process, their studies and what they think about their experience now. Christina and Maria said that they were really nervous and had lots of hesitation about the essays and the interview. That helped to show the audience that it was normal to feel this way, and those who succeeded started from the same point. Then girls told us about the excitement they felt when they received the scholarship and their first impressions when they arrived in the UK. That helped us to highlight the entire positive experience that everyone personally could get if they become a scholar. In general, the contrast between a rather formal presentation and a very lively and emotional interview worked very well. In the end, we had a 20-minute Q&A session. The majority of questions were of course about some technicalities of the application process, so it was important to rephrase a question or come up with the following one, so alumni got a chance to speak too. That way we ensured a lively discussion with various points of view. We also continued to answer the questions that we received later on social media. That way we continued talking to our audience and kept them engaged. We can definitely say that the chosen approach was a success. I would suggest that the balance between formal and informal discussion between practical tips and alumni's bright stories helped us to make the session interesting and show different perspectives on it. It also helped to create an image of something absolutely possible and approachable. That was our goal from the beginning and based on the feedback to the session, we could say that we reached it with flying colors. Inclusion of the Chivning promotion within the wider activity allows reaching audiences interested in widening their horizons and exploring the UK in principle, but maybe not familiar with the Chivning itself. 
Uh, this opens up new perspectives for the audience and extends the pool of applicants for us. We've been using this approach for a few years now and see benefits from it. Online channels give an opportunity to reach the people we would never be able to engage with an offline format. Holding an online session in collaboration with the popular Russian media also allowed tackling the difficulty of reaching people across 11 time zones. Furthermore, the recording of the session is shared on our YouTube channel, so it can be a reference point for those considering applying for years to come.